In this film, I'm going to show you a coracle that's actually been made by one of the Kent Bodgers. And it's a good opportunity to have a really close up look to see how it's been constructed. As you've probably gathered, coracles are definitely on the horizon. Going to have to make one soon. Anyway, let's have a look at it and see what features we need to note for a build. Cool. Really pleased to see one of these up close and a good chance to look around it. So early primitive fishing boat. This one's been a very successful one because it's got a fairly flat bottom on it, which is the thing to look for. So if you look at the base of this one, you'll see it's quite square and flat and that gives it stability in the water. If you make them too round in the base, then you have a problem. So this one is actually quite narrow if you look at it in depth, which again is actually, it doesn't need to be deep. It just needs to have the flatter base to be stable in the water. And this one has been tried and tested. The paddle is quite interesting. It's very subtle, but there's a curvature on it. And the idea of the curvature is when you're in the coracle, then you want to do um, sculling in the water, you're able to move it to and fro. And the blade of the paddle will keep fairly upright, hence the curvature. Looking at the actual construction itself, it's done with laths which have been split out of ash. So you need sections about eight foot long, so it's quite a challenge to get the splitting to work out right. But they've done it really well here, and you can see the actual quality of the splitting is incredibly consistent. You'd think that was sawn, but of course being split, it'd be a lot stronger than being sawn. The actual outer skin material is calico and then there's bitumen coating on top. So normally two layers of some bitumus. If you use the PVA bitumus compounds, then obviously it's more friendly to river life, etc. rather than the tar oil based. The gun wall is made with like two uh, battens going round. All of this is copper nailed and then it's all held together with the exterior laths going all round. So you've actually got four laths in effect in there giving you a very strong outer wall and of course combined with a seat board that's going to give you quite a bit of rigidity. The idea of these is you can carry them on your back so they've got to be made light and the seat it's sort of reinforced underneath but that actually gives the whole structure like a rigid integrity and if ever you've made like balsa wood aeroplane wings you'll know exactly what it, i mean by that because once you get like a wing covering on a balsa wood aeroplane it becomes incredibly tough but only once you get that covering on and it's the same sort of principle with this the strength increases quite dramatically so weight wise it is perfectly liftable. I mean, it's a fair weight, but it's perfectly liftable with one hand. So that's the coral call. Been looking at this quite carefully because we are thinking of making a couple of them. And um, that will be a challenge when we do. So the nails around the side are copper and they go right through. When they come out, they're usually just bent over, but these, they're, they're being put in from both sides. there you have it but i think the most important thing about this one it's the flat base i hope you enjoyed seeing how that coracle has been constructed certainly very interesting seeing the flat base anyway quite a lot there to take on board and um yep coracle building is going to have to take place before too long <laughs> anyway see you in the next film hopefully not in water bye for now